we can do with this? I have no idea what the relevance of that is. This is not the first time I've seen these, but uh, I have forgotten, so of course it's all new to me again. Right, so I want a coop soon, I guess, even though I was told animals don't give very good returns. That's the greenhouse. It lets you grow crops in winter. It's only got available through Jojo Mart or the community centre. I hear you. So I won't reasonably get it in the first year. So I want either a barn or a coop. I don't know which is better. And both of them are a lot more expensive than I can afford. And the house upgrade is... Oh. It's alright, we'll be raking in the ducats as soon as my strawberries come to fruition. I don't need friends. Well, he doesn't need new friends, apparently. Alright, let's go and be a slime rancher or whatever. Six of them. That shouldn't be hard, even though I am low on energy. Let me in. Two till ten. That gives me time to go and kill some slimes in the meantime. Six of. Mm, I don't have the energy to be smacking down a lot of these things. Perhaps I can just jump down. And hang on, is it free to swing your sword? I think it is. I had 64, and once I'm done mincing you in, yep, yeah, 64. Freebies, my favourite. Okay. Uh, do dead things stay dead? Well, it shouldn't matter. I'm spying five of my six already. Uh, so I had an idea for a stream just lately, which I will probably do once Stardew is finished, given the time commitment that it's going to be. But uh, I quite like Disgaea, and I think what I'll do is uh, play a whole new Disgaea campaign. Ugh, campaign seems the wrong word to use there, but play through Disgaea again, it's been a long time. Uh, and use people from the chat as our team, so you can pick who you're going to be. I've set up a save at the start of the game that has all the characters unlocked, but of course we'd have to start out level 1, no gear, no money, etc. I think I'd enjoy that. I'm wondering if any of you are interested in it. I guess it doesn't really matter whether you are or not, because I want to do it, but it would be interesting to see if there are many people that would actually want to be characters in it, to be used and abused. What about the Patreon voting? This is just something that I decided I wanted to do. There's not much more to it than that. Hang on, I got something weird here. Dwarf Scroll 4. Never heard of it. I should go and see what I can do with that. How about Prinnies only? Prinnies fight like garbage. It's also not very interesting. Humanoids are where the interesting play is there, because they can choose different kinds of weapons. Monsters I never found very interesting to play with. Alright, we'll use our Dwarf Scroll. We'll open up the Geode. And that sounds like a day done to me, as long as I also go to the Adventurer Guild. Disguise is not a very long game, though. And the grinding is... 
very optional in my eyes. Although mid boss will tear your guts out if you're not ready for him. See, I think. Oh! Snap, am I about to regret being late? Nah. So are you going to tell me about those scrolls, or do I have to go and look at them? I think the entire party for Disgaea would just be uh, NPCs, with the exception of Flon, because she's the best, and Captain Gordon, because he's also the best. So is there any... Oh, of course, he gives me rewards periodically. That is, I suppose, the point in filling up the museum here. A bit better than uh, Animal Crossing, where your reward is absolutely nothing. Then you go and chill with KK Slider. Worrying about the cruel dystopia that you live in. I forgot about the blacksmith. We'll do it another day. Mm. Someday I'm going to learn the layout to this place. bragging. Hmm. Hope the Adventure Guild is a better sword for me than this thing though. It's pretty garbage. Okay, so what do I get? I'll just pour water all over his desk first. Uh, okay, nothing it seems? Or is this what I need? Monster eradication goals. Help us keep the valley safe. Uh, okay. Kill lots of slimes and some questionables and... Basically just kill loads of things. Okay. Tell me more, Gil. Wooden blade's a bit better than my current one, and then there's an iron dir wait what? Why would I take a dirk? A dagger must have a different way of fighting. Maybe it's faster. Don't need sneakers, I got some leather shoes. Basically you sell me stuff. What was the point of me coming here? even steal their stuff. Oh, there's a guy in here. Ah. Uh, so again, what was my point in all this? Well, I can get in here and buy stuff and speak to them. I guess that is the reward. Slaying monsters thing was something entirely different. I need to find and talk to Lewis, get that money. Wherever Lewis is, fortunately, I can maybe find him here. Maybe. Oh, he's in his own home. Who would have thought? Might be a bit late for visitors. I can go and speak to him anytime. Okay, so all is well. I assume. Oh, this, this game is pretty, oh, pretty comfy. I 
I guess there were times when Rune Factory kind of let down the comfy side, but mostly due to that high octane action it contained. The dirk is easier to keep hidden in case you'd want to shank somebody, I guess, says Gacker. I wouldn't mind taking over this whole village, but I'm sure that's not the point. I mean, I'm seeing it as a good use of energy to chop down trees every day, but maybe I'm mistaken. Looks like a lot of upgrades require an obnoxious amount of wood, so... Grabbing a casual 30 a day seems good. Can you get back on the bus and leave? It broke down as soon as we got here, which seems awfully suspicious to me. Thankfully, the game, it doesn't seem to matter what I think. Staggering hundred ducats from my green beans. Okay, let's have that rain. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Now, I hope it isn't a lie, because the last time it told me this, it was a lie. It was... Oh, I think you'll have a little extra luck. Maybe if I can remember to see to my geo, that'll be good. It's time for a radish salad. We learned how to cook it, but we don't have a kitchen, so... Nope. Nothing to be had there. Oh! Windfall time! Now, these seeds were a hundred ducats each, so these strawberries need to be worth at least a hundred. Or else I'll be most displeased. Hundred and twenty, hundred and fifty, one hundred and eighty. Five. Oh wow! I'll be able to afford my coop at this rate. Mm. You need two K for the upgrade, Jake. Sell some strawberries at the store. You mean the watering can upgrade? Well, I need to get my watering done ASAP, then. Now we stop watering like a Neanderthal. do the upgrades? Is it the blacksmith? I would assume the blacksmith. Twenty-eight days a season, so I'll probably only get one uh, one regrowth from these. Here, one day off getting a third batch, Jake. Yeah, maybe if I'd used a fertilizer, I'd be quids in. But I didn't know. You can't kick yourself over those things. This isn't like that one time I did a... Uh, what was it? 100% crop run on uh, Back to Nature many moons ago. This is more like the zen of farming. Okay, everything looks watered to me, and it's going to rain tomorrow, so we fill her up. I probably need to keep my copper with me. Don't know how much of it I'm going to need. I'll sell one of the strawberries here, so it's on my... I, I guess this is how it works. I'll sell one of them there. Let's go get some sweet upgrades.
five bars. Thank God we have six. So spending a day mining was an excellent option, as usual. I need a herring for us to go away. Hello. Oh. I got a greenhorn achievement. I don't know if there's any good keeping these spectacular strawberries, but they're gone already, so don't worry about it. Well, I don't have the money to purchase that backpack. I'm being told to save the good ones that they're gone. Yeah, you gotta learn to let go. You need five for the community. Okay, I'm not a big fan of thinking about needing things for future community center stuff. If it says we need it, uh, we can go and do it when the time comes. All right, luck is in my hands. Do it. It's a uh, Malachite. Malachite. Is that a character from Discworld? Any case, upgrade my watering can to a copper one. Can't wait. Ugh, another. Another thing lost to the museum, it seems. You better cough up for this. Yeah. Okay, so we did that. All seems relatively well, I'll have a cursory look down at the beach. Otherwise, feels like I'm able to hold on to more energy after a hard day of tending to my crops. I should probably be cutting down more trees or something, or just harvesting the world for what it's worth. Uh, glass shards. Doesn't seem right. Okay, Mother Nature's being good to me today. I think I saw something that required a, a, a clam for crafting, though. What was it? A Speed Go Fertilizer. Well, that's not happening. Okay, not to worry then. So could I just break a bottle and bring the shards into the museum and say it's worth something honest? Okay, this whole shifting between your backpack tiers is, dare I say, intuitive. Alright, cough it up. Melon seeds, summer. Hey, if I get these early. Okay, if I plant them on the 28th, are they going to be dead on the 1st? Oh well, they're mine now. Sarah says good morning. Where in the world are you that it's morning? Alright, I keep thinking it's middle of the night for me, but no, it's only 5pm. my friend, give me my money. I don't really see the slimes popping around here, so it can't be that big a problem. Hope you didn't go through too much. It can be really hard to get that sticky slime out your clothes. I've ruined a few good pair of pants trying to catch little squirmers. Well, cheers to the dosh. Still want me to build a coop, and hey, I have the money to build a coop now. 
Aha, perhaps it would be a good idea to do that. Yeah, the quest on the board, I think that was for the herring, which I disregarded. Uh, still, though. We'll dump those for now. I'll need them later. And save that for later. This stuff I can sell. But, 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 but. Okay, is there any use for quartz and crystals? They're minerals, so I assume they're good for something later, but it's just so hard to know. Uh, scratching my head here, there was something I was going to do. I've already forgotten what it was. Ah, yes, cool. Probably needs tons of wood and tons of stone. And I bet the game doesn't check for what's in your inventories here. That would be too clever. Oh, accidentally clicking one of these, that would be a nightmare. Goodbye, lots of wood. place I go to for stuff, right? Nope, that's it. It's not the most complex of town layouts, but it's slightly more complicated than uh, Back to Nature, so of course I'll blame the game and not me. Thank God for this portrait mod, Maru was insufferable before. Might be horrible to base someone on how they look, but everyone does it. Coup time. Now, how does this work? Is there an optimal place to put them? Nobody would want to live right next to their own chicken truck. Oh, you actually have to clear the space for it? Savagery, really. guess around here? What is optimal anyway? I don't know, I like having the space for keeping all my building stuff, but... Wherever you want to place them, just drop it. Moving it later is free! Done. Okay, figures it wouldn't be instant. Is moving it instant? Yeah, wood is so expensive. I guess that's less of a deal when you're drowning in money. Alright, so our large windfall from all the strawberries, we've already managed to just vaska that. I guess I can go southwest for a change. Oh, hello, green. Only depressed people would say something like that. Let's keep our distance. I'm remembering the old Emily portrait. That was scary stuff. Break through some bins and get some Georgia Cola. I'm sure there's still a few drops left in the bottom of there. We'll lick it out if we have to. I don't think I've sold one of these though. Maybe it's a good idea to sell it to add it to my collection. 
If that's even how it works, I'm just assuming it is. There's that strange person that sells things up here though, right? Maybe I could deign to give them a visit. Tulips, sandfish, wild horse. The prices of these things are ridiculous. Bok choy only grows in fall, so there doesn't seem much point in that. And a rare seed. <laughs> Not telling me what seed, just rare seed. No thank you. Oh, hello. Are you drawing? And are you hiding? Uh, what about Wizard Tower? I've forgotten about this place. I haven't paid you a visit in ages. I forgot what you even do. I truly cannot remember the significance of Wizard Man. I'll just leave him to his own devices. Feels like I get less and less to forage out here. Maybe I've picked the place too clean. <laughs> what is this? hi -o poke Did you bring me coins? Good. Me sell hats. Is there any reason to buy good old cap? Doesn't look like it increases my anything. Maybe there is, but I'm not seeing it. sell those for all these wants. I'm just here to pick the land clean. Sadly there's no sewage crops to be had. So how long does it take for stumps to just go away? I wonder if it's worth the 50% extra swings to break the stump. Seems to give pretty good wood. But there's so much I don't know. Stumps don't look good. So that's the best reason to get rid of them anyway. Although the trying to place down the coop really highlighted something to me. My farm is a wreck. I should get to fixing that. And I don't like this. She knows no fear. Right, so I really hope it does rain tomorrow like the game promised me. Then I don't have to worry about taking care of my crops. And I can spend some time cleaning up the farm for a change. Because, yeah, this place is a disaster piece. I guess, um, I guess stuff just respawns anyway in terms of making a mess. And look at this, this place I dug out. Gone already. Goodbye, everything. Not sure if I agree with them calling the cola trash, though. I mean, I don't like 
carbonated drinks much myself, but it restores energy. Can't be that bad. All right, rainy day, come on, make my day. All right, farming's getting even better. Watering can, hoe, iron fence, preserves. Basic retrain, uh, retaining soil. Oh, level five farming. We did really good. Now I have to choose a profession. I'm either a rancher or a tiller. I have no idea, and if I'm not mistaken, this choice is permanent. So what is worth our time? I don't have any animals, so rancher already feels like a waste of time. Mm. Anybody got some input on that one? Again, I feel like this game could have so much more music going on. All these periods of silence, really. Alright, I see people are saying rancher, so let's go with... No, of course not. Let's go with tiller. I think I remember reading about that as well. Unless you go full animals, tiller is always worth more. Truthfully, what I'd like to do is go full booze baron. Okay, no rain, because it never rains in Stardew. And our luck is pretty grim. Get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch. Fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash, but I don't want little cash, I want big cash. The distance your bobber lands from any dry land determines what kinds of fish you'll hook, as well as location, season, time of day, and weather. That information is useless if you don't tell me how it changes it, though. Grand. I think there was a reason for me to keep a good call. No, I already used my cauliflower. Away you go. There's money to be made. Me sell hats, okay? Come to old house, bring coins. Okay. I won't, but okay. It's been so long since I heard from you. Things are the same as ever back home. I miss you. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Thanks. Oh, sheesh, let's not break our stuff. Okay, so best way to spend my day, I don't know, but I should clean up my place. Is there anything I can do to get rid of these... Uh, these bushes, though. I mean, I'd like them not to be there. Truthfully, I kind of like this part, just cleaning things up. I like cleaning. Okay, seems like the bushes are there to stay. Well, as long as they give me fruit every now and then, it can't be that bad. Hang on, was that for the community center? No, it's the potato that I want for the community center. Somebody in chat got me a little bit worried. Just a little though. There we go, worry let. So getting that copper was all good and well, but it seemed awfully slow. Maybe you get extra drops when you level up mining and such. My mining skill is a bit uh, underwhelming right now. There's a five golden star crop, so I'm not caring about that at all until we do the other ones. Otherwise I'm gonna stress myself out with trying to hoard everything there is. And that's no way to live. Ah, 
<sighs> this is just the right kind of relaxing. I don't mind there being no music when it's raining. The sound of rain is great in itself. You get more chopper deeper in the mine. More chopper. I'll get more copper deeper in the mines. That's good to know. And perhaps my day would have been better spent in the mines. I mean, the day is young. Certainly going to need a lot more copper because I want to upgrade my tools plenty. Especially this axe of mine. So, how does the. This is probably not a question people have the answer for, but maybe they do. How does the game work with regard to spawning? new junk on your farm. Marvin, you need to work on your stamina. I know you're pretty strong, but you shouldn't be this tired this early. Is there a hot spring or something I can go to to restore my health? That would be very traditional. The Jojo Mart, of course. Not seeing it. Every season there's new stuff. Trees grow near other trees. Alright, so it's only by the season. If I clean this place up, it'll remain clean for a while. Hot spring is locked. Okay, that's what I need to know. Well then, we're eating up some other stuff instead. I don't have much for making... Uh, field snacks, but I can make a few. Tasty relative of the onion. Do mm. mixed seeds work every season? It says... It doesn't say that it's tied to a specific season, so I'm going to believe that. Regardless, still planting them. Sell off the leak and eat my snacks. Do the forage drops change per season though? That's the real question I have. Okay, I would actually quite like to go far down the mine today. I had a good stab at cleaning up our uh, our farm, and it certainly looks cleaner already. But copper is going to be needed and soon for all the upgrades that I want, and I want plenty. Yoink. Might just eat you soon enough. You're not worth that much money. Spooky sounds going on here, though. Alright, we've got the mine, and we've got much of the day to enjoy it. So let's go down to the very bottom that we've discovered, and carry on. Get you killed before you become annoying flies. And I guess I just want to make as much distance as I can, as fast as I can, down the mine save me enjoying uh, wasting my time. Ah, oh, crumbs. Save me enjoying those low drop ores is what I was trying to say.
Gonna go out of my way and assume that it's always a good idea to break these. Especially if they have coal. We rolled this instead of uh, Rune Factory Oceans. Let's all be grateful for that. The <laughs> game is not good. So how does the conversion work? Five little bits of ore gets me... Well, plus one coal will net me one thingamajigger. One ingot. Crack these things open as much as possible. Practice, just hoard all your gold and you're good to go. Okay, starts getting real dark here now. Is this this darkness where I'm supposed to be able to see? Because all I see from here on is pitch black, except for that wee slime. Oh well, let's go to the slime anyway. Although... Oh, I ate all my doodads. Well, down the hatch. Inviting damage to myself. Fourteen, sixteen, now it's probably better just to eat my berries. Let's keep on keeping on. Still a reasonable chunk of the day left. Although I wonder where those flies were coming from. Well, maybe the exit's around here and I just can't see it. Oh, wouldn't that be something? I see something else more promising. Not the most involving of fighting, but it's there. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing here. Saw that copper thing though. Right, so these are the annoyances. Let's get them all dead before they cause me grief. Ach, der machte. It's getting a bit late though. I want to advance two stages as quickly as I can. Whew. Jake, pick up the torch. Was not aware that was an option. And it's gone now, so too bad. Whew. Alright, I 
have to mine for our way out now. I don't know if this is predetermined or not. I kind of hope that it isn't. It's a bit unsatisfying trying to find something predetermined. Especially with these guys on your case. Oh, heavens with these guys on your case. down real fast. My character's getting super tired. Oh, crumbs. I just want out of here, game. Be kind. Okay, I surrender then. Oh, that's not the way out. Ah, oh, crumbs. Okay, so what do you lose down there? I've forgotten everything about the last 11 levels of the mine. I seem to have lost 30 gold, 4 items from my backpack. Yikes. Well, I kept the copper ore at least. And I kept the scroll. I don't think I lost anything of super value. Except my sword. Uh, that's a bit of a loss. Oh well, I kept the copper ore, and now I know what happens when you die there. All in all, a gain. We're learning. Could have lost the 48 varies, so not too bad. Okay, so you lose entire stacks of items. That's pretty bad news. Well, let's go home, lick our wounds. Tomorrow is a fresh, new, exciting day. And bed before 1 a.m. That's pretty good. Okay, our mining is up at least. We can now make a staircase, whatever that does. And there we go. Quids in. Quids in. Extra Sugar's asking how I'm enjoying the game so far. Pretty well, thanks. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the flower dance. The event will take place in the forest. Um, I'd like to be... I'd like to have a bit more specifics than that. Between 9 and 2, don't be late. The spirits are very happy. Uh, well, I still have my geode, so I can go and crack that thing open. Phew, thank goodness I kept the copper ore. Another artifact to chuck away. So I've got a bunch of things to do in town. Fair enough. 
Hmm. Sell you, hand you in. Let's not hold on to you for now. I missed my sword though. Is there any way to get it back? I need to pick up my watering can as a matter of priority though. Tomorrow we'll get together for flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate. I doubt I can. Probably requires a... Uh, probably requires them to like me to some degree. Yeah, I plan on buying a sword. Buy sword, get my watering can back, crack open the geode, and hey, maybe I can send in another item to be worked on, like my axe. That would be good. Um, however, I don't have the copper ore. I'm one shy for the copper ore. Bummer. Oh well. Here, but telling me tomorrow's the flower dance. So, well, never mind that. Like I said, I need to go and get that watering can of mine. I can't buy a sword until after 2 p.m., though. It might not be worth my time doing that. For now. All these lazy people cut down their trees for their. Oh, pin at nine? Town is full of slackers, I tell you. Even Joja Mart? Well, the village is full of disappointments. Farming is going just fine, but I think we'll finish it up after today so we can get on with the weekly one-shot. Don't want that taken all night, since I do a work in the morning. <laughs> Stardew's pretty bad, he says. What are you on? It's not that bad. Heck, it's pretty good. The problem is I'm comparing it to so many better games. Well, not so many, but some particularly better games. Alright, wash and can get. I would like you to crack open this geo though. It's only 25, and luck is on my side. It's a bit crap. It's an earth crystal that I can sell for granted double my money back, but I'll probably hold on to it in case it's needed. You don't, by chance, sell. Ooh. Hmm. If I can get that axe started on today, that might be kind of good. Oh, no, I didn't mean to buy two. Get off, get off. What are my crops? Loop back here to work on the axe. I forget when it closes, though. Penny spend all of her time with the kids. I'm looking forward to testing this thing out. I wonder if it has a larger capacity now as well. All right, let's test this thing out then. I didn't expect it to do three in that sense, but it does. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so you can't change direction once you've committed to it. Sure, I actually like this upgrade, but whatever. Feels a bit awkward to use, but we'll make do. Gonna take a bit of getting used to then though. Sometimes the actions you do follow the mouse rather than the direction you look at, and some don't. Still trying to suss that out. Once you get a gold watering can, you can do three by three in one go just like Harvest Moon. There we go, watering done and done right. I should have been tending to these though. So now I'm going to lose out in time waiting on those. Mm, wonder if I'll have the time to do this then. Place closes in a few hours. This thing takes quite some time. Might as well water the dog while waiting. Amen to that. So it looks like it's going to be just before three. I'll have an hour to make my way over there and demand that he works on my axe though. have the money for it too, so all is well. I like that people actually come to your farm to get to work. I really liked when Gots did it in the other game. Back to nature, that is. So since I'm on my way to do it anyway, are there people that are going to tell me that the axe is the wrong thing to upgrade here? I mean, I want to get rid of all the large stumps and hollow carcasses that are right there. Don't like them clogging up my farm. Cheers, Fire Wrath 9. With that donation, we can kick cancer's butt. How are your little legs, Marvin? There's work to be done. Alright, let's get a bigger chopper. Ooh. So can you only do them in order? You have to go copper, then iron, then gold, I assume. And then what, mithril? Unobtainium? Whatever the case, goodbye axe, I knew you well. And since it's later on, I can go and purchase a better weapon. Only in order, that's lame. Ah, speaking of not lame, hello Abigail. Hmm. Maybe it's the purple hair, maybe it's the bow tie, but now I'm just seeing proto magical girl in Abigail.
Crimson Cheeks says, what is speedrunning EU4? Well, it's whatever you decide it to be. All speedruns are arbitrary. It's a dangerous thing to try to speedrun, though, given how uh, volatile it can be. Okay, so Wooden Sword is apparently better than whatever we had before. Should we give it a go? Why not? I wonder if you can find your your old stuff down here. Oh, okay, it undoes a lot of the stuff that you'd already done. I must have taken a bigger blow to the head than I thought. Hmm. Well, the game is trying to apologize. Well, I didn't lose experience, right? That, that would be the real kicker. I did not make the connection when it said I'd lost 11 levels. Oh well, it was my fault entirely. So let's try and make things right. checkpoint to hit 10 during this expedition at least. Just getting beaten up by a wooden sword there, poor slime. And now I'm getting three copper ore. Or was I getting that before? Hard to remember. Point is, I want loads of ore. And I don't know what gives me coal around here, but I want that too. So it's talked about an eradication, but I, I doubt that killing all of an enemy would stop it from spawning entirely. That would seem a bit over the top in a way. Gotta be careful here, I might not have the energy to make my way down to 10 at this rate. Depends where the stairs are hiding. Coal is a slightly rare drop from busting rocks. Okay, but there are lots of rocks here. Is there a specific one that is rock? I think I'll find Dwayne Johnson down here. Alright, we got Amethysts. Abigail will now love us. Mm -hmm, possibly. What are you? You got a little star above you. Are you special? You king slime? Are you like a... Oh, okay. Small magnet ring. Slightly increases your radius for collect ka-ching. That doesn't seem useful at all, but ka-ching nonetheless. Getting any better at fighting here? No, I'm still gash at combat. Almost as bad as I am at fishing. But not quite. Alright, it's getting super late, but I really want to find floor 10. Throw me a bone game. Two geodes? That, that's. Wait, wooden club? Uh, yes, please. But it's all for cannot if I don't find a way out of here. Oh, jeez, I'm about dead. Uh, I 
don't have many swings left in me. It's got to be one of these, right? That's a no. It's also a no. Another no. Dear, oh dear. It's going to be one of those days. Well, it's not much good if I miss my target either. Six. Five. You can eat the green algae, Jake. For 13... Well, it might save us. Mm-mm. I can't eat a crab. I am sorely disappointed. Alright, stairs. I know it's fun to let me down, but don't let me down. Okay, I got nothing left. Jake, that's what the iron ladder is now. It's a self-made exit ladder. Yeah, but it's no good unless I can come back to it as well. Alright, the race is on to get home. Glad I found that club. I like high damage weapons. Quit moaning, Marvin. Jake, why aren't you using the shorter route through the northern path? Probably because I'm not aware it's shorter. Okay, Workaholic is still at it. First, though, let's get rid of you and... Ooh, nice haul in the copper ore. Uh, it's tricky, because uh, it's hard to know what I'm meant to hold on to and what I can just chuck. But I need to chuck myself solidly into bed. Ah. Oh, you mean the staircase goes down one level? Interesting. Alright, it's day 24 and it's festival time. But we will... Uh... Oh wow, I was hoping I could just destroy my stuff with that. We're going to be calling it a day, at least for Stardew right now. Because I'm going to take the stream down and take a... Actually, I might as well make it a dinner break. So I'll be back in, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. With the weekly one-shot, courtesy of Lucky, because he managed to win the Resident Evil race, like the champion that he is. Had to happen eventually. So yeah, see you in 30.